Okay, this is a horse named Derriere. It's a cable pulley Tabata workout. However, if you didn't have a cable pulley apparatus and you wanted to improvise with exercise tubing, the elastic tubing, then that can work as well. So all exercises are 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes or eight sets per exercise. And you go through them one at a time. The first exercise we're gonna go through is the contralateral low pulley stationary lunges. And for this, you're gonna set up with a low rope grip pulley, just like I have here on a cable pulley machine, using about 20 to 40 pounds. Now, you're gonna have your opposite leg forward like this, and you're gonna lunge down and stand up, going against the cable pulley resistance. And you are gonna feel this in the glutes. You're going for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, Keep a tall spine. Now the progression is to do forward step lunges where you would step forward like this as a progression, okay? That is exercise number one. Now, exercise number two is the wide elbow archer rows right here. Now for this one, oftentimes I'll have the high cable pulley set up at about chest height and you're just doing this motion here. Uh, it is okay to go with a little bit of a higher pulley. So in this case, I've got only the high cable pulley apparatus, and I would just be doing this motion here, moving the arms in opposition, keeping the elbows wide out to the side. So the motion is the elbows are up and out to the sides, not down and in like this. That would work different muscles. We want high elbows. Just like so. So 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off for the wide elbow archer rows. Okay? Now, the next one is a mid stance low pulley deep squat. For this one, you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart. You're holding on to the rope pulley and feet about shoulder width apart. You're just gonna be going all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up just like so, and as a progression, you could do a pump at the very bottom. So the pump would look like this, just going up and down a few inches, just going up and down a few inches, and although it's not listed on the handout, a further progression would be a triple pump. So you go one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. And repeating like so. Now, the next exercise we're going to be doing is a bent over rope row. So this is a bent over row exercise. You're going to have your knees bent, leaning forward about 45 degrees, keeping a straight spine and holding on to the rope handles, pulling them up beside the waist like this, lowering the arms back down in front and repeating just like this. And as a progression listed here, or sorry, not even listed, is to throw in some of those pumps if you want to progress it. So you could do a little bit of a pump when you bring it back. And that just emphasizes, that just emphasizes the upper back muscles contracting them together. So when we do that motion, the more you spend at that end range, the more you work those muscles to kind of help to optimize the posture by working those scapular retractors between the shoulder blades and straightening the spine. Okay, now the next exercise we're gonna be going on to, number five is the low pulley mid stance deadlift. Now, there's many different variations on the deadlift. It is a term that's very versatile. A lot of times people take deadlifts and they use that term for any type of a squat where you're holding a bar down in front. Uh, in this instance, we're referring to a stiff legged deadlift. So it's almost like a forward bend, keeping the legs completely locked out. Okay, now we're going to be using a mid stance. So feet are about shoulder width apart, holding on to the pulley. Okay, and what you do is you shoot your hips back and fold forward, stand up tall and repeat. Shoot the hips back, fold forward, stand up tall and repeat. Just like this. You're going to feel this in the hamstrings and you're going to feel this in the low back. Now, a lot of times people say you got to be careful with deadlifts, it hurts your back and everything else like that. However, that usually refers to weighted deadlifts in which you're picking a weight up off the ground 
and the line of drive is in the vertical plane, sometimes it can be compressive on the spine. With this variation of deadlift, the line of drive is more horizontal, so it's less compressive. If anything, it's actually stretching you out a little bit more while helping to target the posterior chain. So it's much safer than conventional deadlifts. And uh, it's almost a different exercise because of that different line of pull. Now, we're going to be going on to some triceps next. We're going to be doing inverted Y tricep extensions standing on one leg. So an inverted Y means I'm going to be holding onto the handles like this. I'm going to bring my hands together like the stem of the Y and then separate them at the bottom and pull them apart. So it is like the letter Y. And when I do that, I'm going to be doing that standing on one leg from a high pulley, doing the Y tricep extensions, and I'm going to be switching legs each set. So to set that up, I would take my rope pulley from the low pulley attachment, and I would then attach it up high, just like this. And standing on one leg, I would do the inverted Y tricep extension. So standing on one leg does work the lower body, does help to optimize posture, plus we're working the triceps. Now the next exercise we would be doing would be bicep curls, standing on one leg, once again using the rope. So I'd be like this, and I'd be curling up and opening them up like so, while standing on one leg. For this one, I like to turn the wrists up a little bit just to get that little bit of a twist to help activate a little bit more of the biceps. So we would hook this up low now, just like so, holding on to the pulleys, standing on one leg, and doing the rope hammer curls, okay? Now one of the common obstacles to doing a, work like, a workout like this is that somebody may not have a rope pulley handle and in those cases what I would recommend you do is you just take a regular single handle like this and you would just take a towel a hand towel like so and you would loop it through so that voila you've got a rope handle okay so this is a really easy way to accommodate it if you're at the gym or you're doing home workouts you'll be able to create a rope handle that way by just looping a towel through a single pulley handle. Okay, so that there is the horse named Derriere. It is a Tabata cable pulley workout. It is excellent for the posterior chain, so it straightens up posture. It's hitting all the hamstrings, glutes, low back to help optimize pelvic tilt. Now there is no uh, chest press movement in this workout. Okay, there, the press movement is for triceps, but there's no chest press, which means it's gonna straighten up your posture. If you did want to throw in a one-armed chest press at the end as a bonus finisher, uh, provided that your goals are not strictly improving posture for overall fitness, you could do that as an add-on, a one-arm cable chest press, similar to the way we did the wide elbow archer rows, except you would be facing in the opposite direction. So that would be an optional bonus that you could throw into this workout. Other than that, this is an excellent workout. It's very easy to set up. You have the cable pulley, you move it up, you move it down. You only got a couple different handles that you're playing with, but it's gonna hit everything in the whole body. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Rooting for you in the game of life.